What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we cooking what? Today we're cooking chopped pork. Chopped pork? No, today we cooking fried cum. Yeah! Guys, this is a Bahamian, Bahamas, Florida dish. Can't find it nowhere. You gotta be careful even trying to find it. This is a special type of shell fish. It's called cum. We like to fry it down here in the south. It tastes so good. So the first thing you wanna do is cut your cum up. You gotta cut good little pieces of chunks of the cum because you wanna, you know. And see with this, right, you can make it with, uh, they call it conch salad. They call it uh, conch fritters. So first thing you wanna do is cut it up real good so it could be real good. Then when you do that, so we don't we don't cut them up real good. Now I'm gonna cut a lemon and let her squeeze that, the lemon on. Do you know that you have to cut lemons with your guys' parents' um appropriation? <laughs> So guys, go ahead and squeeze the lemon. That's the first thing you wanna do. And then once you do that, we wanna start seasoning. Because this is a special fish that they don't have everywhere. Matter of fact, it's so hard to find conch and it's very, very expensive, guys. You ain't gonna find this. For two pounds of conch, it's like $50. Woo! This is two pounds, so you can imagine. Not many people eating fried clump. It's almost like eating steak. So now we got the lemon on there. Now you want to start seasoning it. Get your season going. Go ahead and season that a little bit. Don't pour it too much. Just season enough. I know. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, now mix that in a little bit. Cause you done drowned. Put mix it in. You got the gloves on. Mix it in there real good. Mm -hmm. It feels a little bit high. Like, That's good. Like pre dried mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> see, we got our grease burning already. So, what we're going to do is put the Creole in there too. Mm -hmm. That's good. A lot of seasoning. But it's all good because. Mm -hmm. The fire smells so fresh up in there. Mm -hmm. Going to put that old bay in there. Not much. Just a little bit. You know, and then hit them again with that lemon just in case. Mm -hmm. This is how you make fried clump, guys. Because the next step is the last step. So you want to mix that in the moat. Mix it in a real good. Real good. Mix it in a real good. Mix it all around. Make sure everything touching that seasoning. You wanna, so you gotta be a coach when you training people how to cook, how to make stuff. You gotta be real delicate. You ain't gotta touch nothing if they know what they're doing. She got it going on. Let's go. Just keep mixing. Uh. This is hard work. This is what it takes to cook now. You'll be doing this your whole life. So you gotta prepare. Keep mixing it in. Keep mixing it in. Mm -hmm. And see what cook guys, you gotta lose a whole lot of lemon because it make the fish taste good and smell good too. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yeah. So guys, we back and this the thing, we almost done. We mixing the season, keep mixing it. And guys, you know, tomorrow is my test. So I wanna study to like a lot today, but you know, it's like almost my bedtime, so. Yeah. So. But well, we gonna ace the test. We ain't gotta study too much because we born genius. But it's time to put the conk inside the egg. So put the conk in there. And God gave us a mind for me. That's right. Use it. So mix that in there. Put put that. Put more in there. Just a little more. Now mix that in there. So she mixing the conk in the egg. Cause now. We gonna uh, put it in the gluten-free flour. And then guess what? We, we gotta put a little seed in this, you know, black folk, all the high blood pressure. Gluten-free flour? Mm-hmm, it'll make you fat. So you wanna put your little old bay in there. So your seed is supposed to look like that. 
little high blood pressure, that's what I call it. Now go ahead and dump it in there for a little bit. So guys, we done put it in the flour. It's time to get the mixing, whipping, and fry. And she gonna do the honors of placing it in the fryer. I'm gonna do the honors of mixing. First thing you wanna do, wrap it in there real good. Making sure it's all the, you wanna make sure it's, this is the sweetest part about it when you put that flour on there because what's gonna happen is it's gotta get in there real good. It's gonna be crunchy. That flour gonna get that crunch, watch this. Ooh, this two pounds, guys. Look, ooh. See how I did it? Look how real good it's seasoned. You gotta do it, see it real good. Look at that, ooh. So guys, we done mixed it all in. Now she gonna do the honors of putting it in the fryer so it could do the dirty work. Let's go. It's fried clunk, guys. Before we take this out, we want to give you a little motivational speech. What are some of the things that you go through in school right now? Some of the things is, is that I be like a little bit slow and I like sometimes I don't finish my work when the time is supposed to. And, um, and then like the other people were packing up today and I was still on my agenda and some other people were. So that's a focus issue. Guys, when you're at school, you're not there to play. You're not there to worry about what your friend's doing. You have to focus on the work because you're only there normally from 8 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. And then you go home and some of y'all go to aftercare. Don't focus on nobody else because remember, you only got to give these people 12 years of your life. After that, the extra four more years of college, that's on you if you want to go. I normally recommend going to business school, trade school, but for those that want to go to college and continue on to school, that's fine too. But while you're in school, focus on your work. Don't worry about what everybody doing. Remember, everybody got a test, but it's different questions on everybody's paper. Focus on your paper, because that's how you get ahead in life, guys. So, let's take out the pump. Look at that, guys. Wow. This is... Good. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, good God. God, look. This is crazy good, God. I ain't never cooked clunk before. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm always do the stuff, but I'm always true to stuff too. But I really think all you Bahamian restaurants looking at this right now and thinking like, how did he do that with gluten-free flour guys this is not regular flour this is gluten free flour look at this guys this came out real good right Come on. so guys we want you to subscribe to the channel we want you to like this video we want you to share this video with all your friends all your classmates we want you to send this to your timeline if you got any kind of social media send it to them and i want y'all to understand this is fried conk this is a real real popular dish in the south Everybody eat fried conk and they can find it very hard to find, but it tastes very good guys It's better than lobster. It's better than any kind of Fish that you can eat guys. This is my stuff. So guys make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel and make sure you comment below What y'all want to see us cook next. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye <music>